I'm James Temperton from Wired.co.uk and we're here with some of the leading figures in the Internet of Things to find out what the connected home is and where it's going. Define the connected home. What does it mean for you? The connected home is about how we integrate with um, our daily lives as we leave the home, as we come home, and the social interactions we have both within and outside of the home. Increasingly, we've seen a number of use cases where people have got elderly family members and they want to know that they are warm, safe at home. So being able to check in and have a look at, yep, all the windows and doors are closed, yes, the temperature is comfortable. There's a real emotional resonance around that. And what are the current barriers to the home being bought online? There are three barriers for consumers entering into this market. The first is upgrading your home into a smart or connected home is quite expensive, so cost. Number two is I get this smart connected home thing, but it feels a bit intimidating and scary, so technical complexity. And the third barrier is really, I understand all of this. I can afford it. I get the, uh, the use cases. But it, do I really need it? So relevance is the last point that I think uh, is one of the barriers. Why, for you, is this so important? At the moment, we've got individual products coming in, but when there's multiple products in there with machine learning capabilities and the data science is being applied, the blend of those things, all talking to each other, providing insights and control that we couldn't have imagined. So actually, what I'm excited about is the bits we just can't immediately see when all of the infrastructure is in place, because we're building the roads at the moment. You know, we all agree it's kind of serious business, the IoT, but I think if we zoom out, I think we will think what happened in 2016 was a joke, okay? <laughs> and look at the internet, okay? Internet early days, what was the internet in the early days? It was all about nailing ethernet cables to the dorm, the walls, you know, for your home. You zoom forward 20 years, go out in the streets here and so on, ask the people, you know, what is it all about? And they will tell you, you know, Twitter, Snapchat, Nobody knows there are Ethernet cables in the back. So, right, so when we zoom forward in 2025, 2030, and we look back at this conversation today, I'll say, this was a joke what these guys were doing, right? So, yeah, today it's important, but I think with hindsight, it's, you know, so much more will come. And for all of you, how revolutionary is this technology? I think revolution, no. Revolution means you wake up one day in 2020 and say, wow, we got, you know, a connected home. Will not happen, right? But I believe once we have that ecosystem up and running and there's a good density there and everything is connected, there might be a revolution on top of that. Hive recently did a partnership with If This Then That. So If This Then That allows you to string together different logic to uh, make the smart home even more powerful. So that's a really great ecosystem to be part of and we're working with Amazon in terms of bringing some of the Hive products and making them voice enabled on the Amazon Alexa platform. So an interconnection of ecosystems is what I see. I think the key is the partnership that goes beyond the technology space. So I like to see home furniture companies partnering with a digital technology company or smart home solution providers and I believe we will see more of these. What excites all of you most about the connected home? I'm looking forward to a day when the ecosystem of the connected home means that things like machine learning and artificial intelligence means I don't have to worry about ever switching my, uh, my heating on or off or worry about you know, forgetting whether the gas is on and that the home begins to learn about my patterns. Getting to that point where technology becomes, to your point, invisible, right? It's, it's the fabric of the home. 